Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the dual mics found in the new Retina MacBook Pros versus the MacBook Air microphone because some of you have said, hey, give us a comparison of that. So this video right now, what you're watching is me recording from the Retina MacBook Pro, both the audio and the video from the FaceTime HD. The quality is pretty decent. And the good thing about the microphone and the Retina MacBook Pro is it's got two mics. And that is ideal for when you're doing FaceTime chats or when you're doing perhaps voiceovers or the idea is you don't need to carry an external microphone because the microphone built into this is just as good or near enough. Of course, if you're gonna compare this with a two, three hundred pound mic, there is gonna be more of a difference. But uh, what I used to tend to do was when I had the MacBook Air, I always carried the in-ear microphones that you get with the iPhone and I used that when I was doing Skype calls or doing FaceTime chats, but now, this dual mic kind of cancels the background noise, so if you're sitting at a cafe or if something's on in the background, it reduces that and focuses more on your voice and hence the clarity on this video right now is going to be good. I'm going to swap over to the MacBook Air to show you uh, the same position, the MacBook Air is going to be placed similar position and you can see the quality and uh, audio wise how it performs. I'm using the MacBook Air 2011. The camera is not HD, but the microphone is exactly the same as found on the 2012 MacBook Airs, located in the same place, right beside the audio port. And it's not too great, as you can see. Um, the audio is the clarity. It's not really giving you that oomph that the Retina MacBook Pro does. It's omnidirectional, um, which can be good. It's generally good, but the downside of that is the clarity is just not there, and you can tell from this comparison video, hopefully. Uh, so all in all, the Retina MacBook Pro wins in that respect. If you haven't already, guys, please check out the other MacBook Air 2012 and Retina MacBook Pro 2011 playlists, where I do gaming tests, speed tests, comparisons, and it might be worthwhile watching. Cheers. Whether it be an iPhone, a Nokia, HTC, Samsung, Heck, any smartphone on the market, it's compatible with our garments. There is indeed a pocket for this and a pocket for that. You can buy it today at iGear.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You never know, you might be the next one to get in on our free giveaway.